We are in the middle of a private boomed off road with a massive emphasis on security, showcasing you one of the most exciting developments that has ever launched in Hyde Park. A set of eight 9,999,999 rand units that even comes with its own private park. This is the Hyde, and my name is Chad Viveros, and I'll be taking you around this beautiful country, showing you some of the most exclusive properties that SA has to offer. So without further ado, it's time that we show you around. So here we are within the heart of one of the units within the hide. This is the living room area. Now, there is still some construction going on, so just do mind the noise. We're gonna try and filter out as much of it as possible. But talking about construction, each of the units within the hide is built on a 420 square meter stand with 367 of those meters under roof. And I tell you, they have done an incredible job with the finishes of what is under the roof. One of the best touches for me is the LED down lighting throughout the house and we're gonna showcase a lot of that throughout the tour. Another thing that I absolutely love and it's probably the dominating feature within both the downstairs and the upstairs, those are the floor to ceiling glass windows giving you an incredible view of your garden, your patio and your swimming pool. And this does come with a swimming pool. Another one of the touches I absolutely love are all of the thought put into the different finishes throughout the house. and. Because some of the hide is still under construction, you will have a lot of input over what you would like within the house. And for anybody purchasing a house, you know how important it is to make sure the house you purchase is a home for you. Let me show you the dining room area. The dining room area is incredibly spacious, with a fully open floor plan allowing the area to be flooded with natural light from the floor to ceiling glass sliding doors which make up the full garden facing wall. These open up onto a stunning garden patio which gives you the feeling of outdoor dining while still being in the comfort of your home or even while preparing a meal from the kitchen. In a house where no expense is spared, this kitchen is king. Throughout the hide, you'll have a lot of opportunities to customize what you like to your taste. That includes these marble countertops, the cladding, the wall color and even these cupboards you see behind me. But within this kitchen, I'm gonna start off with my favorite feature, and there are a lot of features in this kitchen, so let me get this out the way. Talking about the marble countertops, we've got an inbuilt food prep station here with two sinks, and my favorite feature, this tap. This tap is completely adjustable, so the faucet can point in any direction you'd like. So if my cameraman would like a drink of water, we can facilitate that. But this is by far, the least cool feature in this kitchen. We've got Siemens appliances throughout the kitchen, an oven, a microwave, both with full color LED screens and touch screens. We've got a five top burner, as well as a Siemens extractor fan. No expense has been spared. Everything is touch, very cool. Right on the right hand side, talking about cool, we've got our inbuilt snake fridge with the freezer just below it. And another nice thought that the developers put in is this rack for your fruit and your veggies. It's small touches like this that make living in a home so much better. Now we've got a scullery behind us, so let's show you some of that. Within the scullery area, we have floating shelves and just below that, a double sink. The double sink has a pot filler as well as a grip flow adjustable nozzle, making cleaning up after those meals very easy. Underneath the marble countertops, you've got plenty of space for three appliances. You've got a broom closet and incredible cupboard space. Cupboards are everywhere, both inside the kitchen as well as really cool counters just outside the entertainment area of the kitchen. Coming out of the kitchen, I'd like you to pay attention to what lighting comes through this house. And when I say lighting, I don't just mean the lighting that comes from the plethora of windows throughout the downstairs area, but the thought paid to the lighting within the kitchen, like this LED flash lighting within the bar area, as well as the lighting within the roof, that is all continuous strips that guides the eye and it is so cool. But let's wrap up this downstairs area by showing you the garage, 
the bottom bathroom, as well as that art piece of a staircase. So I've just come out of the double garage, which is extra wide. So if you'd like to install a generator, there's more than enough space there. But I am in the entrance hall right now, and I'm sure you can see behind me, the dominating characteristic of the space is the floor to ceiling double volume glass wall and it leads the eye all the way up to the ceiling it is such a cool feature but there's also a glass entrance door in front of me and on my right hand side the guest bathroom it is the only bathroom that's not in suite it's got a vanity that's illuminated as well as automatic sensors for your lights let's take a look inside Coming up the wood and I-beam staircase leads you immediately into the second floor landing and this landing here can be used for many different things. The first is an office space like it's currently set out to. The second it could be a pajama lounge, it even could be another entertainment area. On my left hand side you immediately see the continuation of those floor to ceiling windows with a very cool touch that all of these bedrooms have including this space here and that is the outside planters with the sliding doors giving you that garden even though you're on the second floor. Now this landing goes off into each of the bedrooms and each of those bedrooms do have ensuite bathrooms and we're going to take you to that master bedroom first. Follow me and let's go take a look. And here we are within the master suite baby and not just any master suite, the master suite of a 9,999,999 rand house. Say that five times fast. Now this master suite has access to its own balcony which gives you perfect views over not only the whole house but also the grounds below. The master suite's got plenty of space, tons and tons of space, a lot of space for your big beds and also it's got beautiful feature lighting that is LED and energy saving. The master suite also has plug points for your TVs if you'd like to put them in. But this master suite has one very, very cool feature and that is a walk-in closet. So let's go check that out. And here we are within the walk-in closet. Now this walk-in closet has got plenty of space for clothes, plenty of space for shoes. It also has LED lights running across the ceiling with a massive rectangular skylight, which I love. Near the back of the walk-in closet, you've got a window there that gives you plenty of access to some fresh air. And also near the back, the killer feature here, along with the LED lighting, you have a drawer that opens up to show off your ties, to show off your Rolexes, to show off really anything you want. It's so cool that they've thought of putting in a little display cabinet here. It brings in such a nice touch to this walk-in closet. But that is not all in this area. This walk-in closet leads off into the master bathroom. And that's where we've got some more to show you. The walk-in closet leads seamlessly into the master bathroom. And what a master bathroom this is. We've got a freestanding bath with a designer splashback, as well as a double vanity with an illuminated mirror and plenty of undercounter storage. Another thing you'll notice is just underneath that storage, we've got an LED strip that runs the length of the bathroom, leading into the waterfall shower. Now, please don't think that the taps or the fittings here are one size fits all. It's not. All of the fittings are imported and it is bespoke to your taste. We can customize everything you want here to your liking. Like I said, making this house into a home. Here we are within the second of the three bedrooms on this upstairs level and this bedroom has got plenty of space, plenty of air, plenty of light and also very high ceilings leading to an open space that's easy to enjoy. One of my favorite features within this room and the third room as well is this exposed plant area with a sliding glass door and the concrete bench where you can sit, lie down and enjoy a book while having some air and some light cruise past you. Just to my right, you'll find the ensuite bathroom. This bathroom now is as incredible as the other bathrooms, and that is because of the touches the lighting has brought to the overall ambience of the bathroom. We've got under bathtub lighting, as well as that illuminated mirror above the vanity. Below the vanity, we've got some storage, and on the right-hand side, we've got a floor-to-ceiling frosted window, letting in some fresh air while you enjoy that rainfall shower. Coming into the third bedroom, you have all the amenities and features that the second bedroom offers. The floating concrete shelf, the sliding door leading to the outside planter, the light there and the tall ceilings. You also have the beautiful grey cupboards with plenty of storage space and 
don't forget everything is customizable you can make this house into the house of your dreams the on-seat bathroom is another feature that you can enjoy with a floating bathtub lighting the vanity mirror what about these bathrooms isn't there to absolutely adore i love the time and effort the designers and the architects have put into making this house so different from everything else on the market and most certainly from everything else in hyde park all of the lighting within the house is controlled via touch switches and every room within the house including downstairs has central ducting for your air conditioning that unfortunately is all we have for you today. So from myself, Chad Viveros, and the team at Private Property, thank you so much for joining us on the Home Shopper Show. Goodbye.